What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm finally going to show you how to set up that dual screen um, Xbox PC hybrid setup so that it kind of makes your Xbox stealth um, by making it seem like you have a dual screen PC monitor setup but really one of the screens is an Xbox that you can switch to and from whenever you want. So a lot of people were asking how I um, set this up and honestly I just haven't had a chance to make a video on it because um, my my desk is usually set up for um, either streaming or VR or work or whatever it happens to be so I never really had a time a chance to get that done but now um, I'm actually rearranging my entire desk and um, resetting everything up so I figured it's a good time to get it done so yeah let's get into it the first thing I'm gonna mention is I have a laptop over here I have the Xbox one here I have two monitors that support HDMI and everything is plugged into power. The laptop's plugged into power and my webcam and uh, microphone obviously, but you don't have to have that plugged in for this tutorial. Um, the monitors are plugged into power and that's it. What you're going to need is three HDMI cables. So I have one, two, three HDMI cables and what you might need is an adapter. Uh, this is a mini display port to HDMI adapter. My laptop has a mini display port, so this is what I use. Um, if your laptop does not have a mini display port, it might have a USB-C port, which will also work for, um, or most USB-C ports will work with an adapter to give you a, another HDMI output as well. So as long as your laptop has two outputs, you should be good, which, um, you know, if you're using a dual monitor setup, you likely already have this anyway. So here's the actual setup. So we're gonna plug in the laptop to our first monitor first. So let's go ahead and unwind one of these HDMI cables. I'm gonna plug that in there and I'm gonna plug this So, this one is now plugged in as, <laughs> this one is now plugged in as a second monitor for the laptop. So if I move my mouse, I can see my mouse is moving on that screen. But we want to set it up so it goes to the other screen as well. But first, we want to connect the Xbox to this second screen. All right, so in the back of your Xbox One, there is a HDMI out to TV. You're gonna connect this to the HDMI out to TV, and you're gonna put this side into your second monitor. So you're, you basically have your PC plugged into this one and your Xbox plugged into this one. So let's go ahead and plug these in. It's always fun trying to feel around where the HDMI port is, but we'll plug that in there. And then we can turn on our Xbox. Good. So now we have our Xbox on this screen. And let's go ahead and turn on the controller so we can move things. So on our Xbox, we actually need to just open up what's called OneGuide. If it's not installed, just go to the Microsoft Store and open up OneGuide. And OneGuide is going to um, let you use your TV or HDMI input as basically a, a television. So it's made so you can plug in your cable box, for example, through HDMI and watch it on your Xbox. What we're going to use it for is to plug this second HDMI cable into it, our Xbox and use it as a, as a second monitor. So again, we have another HDMI cable here. And this time, we're going to plug it into the HDMI in on our Xbox. So we've gone ahead and plugged it into our HDMI in. I'm going to put this down so you can see both screens. And then this side, we're going to plug into our laptop. Um, now, my laptop only has one HDMI cable. I'm an HDMI port, so I'm going to use this display adapter and then plug it into my laptop. Alright, so now we have our 
computer screen here and we have a computer screen on the right and if I move my mouse I can actually move it between them if I open up a folder I can drag oops I can drag the window between both of these screens but the cool thing is because this is connected first through our Xbox if I hit the home button it opens up our Xbox menu if I go to the Xbox menu we're right back on our Xbox if I want to go back into the um, second monitor for our PC we just go to one guide press A and you're on your second monitor so yeah it's a pretty easy setup but um, I know it, it does take quite a bit of, of wiring there's like three different HDMI cables and some laptops don't have the right outputs and it, it's a little bit confusing at times so hopefully this cleared it up for you if you have any questions please feel free to leave it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and have a great day peace